Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be doing this cool split text effect. This is actually a request from Jack Wolf Video. So Jack, I hope you like this. Great effect to use as an opening sequence for opening credits for something like a thriller or a horror movie. Really simple. So before we start, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's jump into the iPad. Okay, so here we are in Luna Fusion. And we're starting off with this clip of New Scotland Yard in London, which this could easily be an establishing scene from a thriller or an opening scene from a movie. So we want to add our text. So we're going to go down to the bottom of the screen, click the plus icon and choose overlay title. I want to move that away from that clip a little bit. I'm going to double tap on that. I'm going to go down to text edit the text, we'll just write split text. Okay, back on the timeline. Now we need to duplicate that text. So we're gonna go down to the plus icon at the bottom and that gives us a duplicate. Now we're going to double tap that, go down to frame and fit, up to cropping, and we're going to bring the bottom crop up to 49. Now we're going to double tap on the bottom clip, frame and fit, cropping, and this time we're going to take that top crop down to 51. You can probably see where this is going. Okay, back in the timeline, we're gonna zoom right in until we can see the frames along the bottom of the timeline. We're gonna move about three frames in and slice. Now make sure that neither clip is highlighted because when we click slice, then it'll slice both clips. Now we're just going to move along one frame at a time and slice both those clips together like this. What we're going to do next is we're going to double tap on the first one, make sure we're in frame and fit, and we're just going to move that X axis slider across slightly. And we're going to go along doing this on all of the clips. Sometimes we move the slider a lot, sometimes we'll move it a little bit because we want it kind of randomised. Okay, so just run through it all, through every one of those little clips. Once we've finished, we've got loads of little clips. So we're gonna go down to the little tick icon, highlight that, and then we can draw around all of those clips. And then we can drag them and place them over our main clip. So when we play it through, it looks like this. And that's it. If you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found this video useful. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.